It's about producing an evening where people feel relaxed, where they don't feel homesick for their parents. And, you know, it's about inviting people that may be left out. I'm Zoe Glasner and I was the stylist on set for the Girl's Guide to Thanksgiving shoot today. The story is about how to throw Thanksgiving yourself. The Girl's Guide is really a series to how to do things, uh, maybe for the first time or if you've done it before, how to do it better. And we've done everything from moving apartment to spending a Sunday on your own. And in November, we do how to do your first Thanksgiving because it's a daunting prospect. For a lot of people, they're still going home to their parents. It's kind of that watershed moment into adulthood, the first time you're kind of doing it on your own and how nothing matches and you're kind of turning a door into a table and all that kind of good stuff. Part of this piece, we talk to celebrities about what they do when they're hosting their first party or their first Thanksgiving and ask them how do they pull it off without a hitch. Genevieve was someone that we thought would have some great ideas for decorating and kind of creating that ambiance. Entertaining can feel um, really intimidating, especially when it's your first time having some of these big events in life and you're measuring yourself against a lot of memories of grandma and mom and, and big family celebrations. What are the things that are really important when you're entertaining that you might have forgotten about? What are the things that people care about? Do I have this space that works the best for everybody coming over? Are they going to have fun? Does it look okay? Do I have enough stuff? Is this stuff I have good enough? I mean, we measure ourselves by all these minute details in life. It seems really daunting, but really, as long as you're making it your own, um, it's a good time. Casual elegance is the best way to go. So that means that everything has to match. The last thing you want is a contrived event. You want this to feel effortless. So put out all the plates. It doesn't have to be your best china. Kelly Choi from Top Chef Masters, one of her ideas, which is kind of um, pulling off of things that they've done on Top Chef, is have like a food taste contest. And it can be a fun way to engage a lot of people. If you're mixing different crowds and everyone doesn't know each other, it's a great icebreaker to get everyone playing and you know, start drinking and you'll have more fun that way. Your attitude <laughs> is basically the leader in this whole event. If you're casual, if you're happy, if you're having fun, everyone else is going to too. Betsy Johnson had a fun tip. She said, you know, try maybe make a costume, have uh, make it a costume party. These are, are little details that tell whoever's coming over that you can be comfortable and you can have a great time and you don't have to sit up like this with a bow tie. You know, no one needs that event. Look beautiful, but you don't have to act formal to have a really special event. We invited uh, some well-known writers to contribute to this series because we were fascinated to get their uh, Thanksgiving experience. Sarah Silverman uh, described when she was younger going off to a turkey farm with her father who said, I want you to pick the turkey. What she hadn't understood was that it meant once she selected it, it would have its neck broken in front of her and thrown in the back of a lorry to be plucked. Tamara Reynolds, and anyone that um, writes a book called Forking Fantastic is pretty okay in my book. We just thought she'd have some good, funny, practical advice um, for our readers, and she did. It's enjoyable to entertain, but it's even more enjoyable to give people something of yourself. Even if you were to go crazy and buy your friends dinner, it's, it's not the same as the intimacy of having them into your home. The tips vary from literally how to cook the meal to how to say no when your friend Liz volunteers to bring her crispy cornflake tuna surprise, which you really don't want on the table. I think the best way to handle that is to say, that sounds so delicious, but you know what? I pretty much have everything covered and I'm worried about overfeeding everyone, so why don't we make a date next week or the week after and let's have that you and me for dinner together and I'll bring the wine. Some of the tips that we give um, the reader for hosting their first Thanksgiving is definitely to keep it simple. And it's a way to both cook the meal, we have the recipes of, of how to do it without getting over ambitious. You shouldn't worry so much about fulfilling everyone's childhood Thanksgiving fantasy. I mean, I think if you hit a couple of the highlight dishes of your own childhood, I think you're doing pretty well. Don't get very ambitious doing, you know, lots of different courses and lots of different meals. Um, one of our biggest tips is, you know, just stick to the basics. Just cook less. Try not to overwhelm yourself. 
Thanksgiving is about friends, it's about family. You can balance it out. You can have some canned cranberry sauce if that's easier, and then you can have a beautiful homemade gravy. Julie Powell, the author of Julie and Julia, uh, talks about her first experience doing Thanksgiving, and all she could remember was trying to do everything on two rings. I talked to Zoe Deschanel, who one of her biggest tips was have people come over while you're still preparing. So everybody's in the kitchen with you, it kind of lightens the mood. There's not like everyone kind of standing around awkwardly while they're waiting for the food. This way they can pitch in, they can help out. But most importantly, the tips really explain how to make sure that your friends have a great time, that it's not about producing the perfect piece of turkey. It's about producing an evening where people feel relaxed, where they don't feel homesick for their parents. And, you know, it's about inviting people that may be left out, that actually don't have anywhere else to go. Maybe it's new people to the country who aren't familiar with the tradition of Thanksgiving. To have people over is, it's a lovely, lovely gift that you can give. I had a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's pretty early in the morning, but um, this suit is great. Uh, you just show up and enjoy it, you know? Um, I just feel blessed to do what I do and to, you know, have this life, so. Just try to have fun. Dr. Foreman's a little bit stiffer than I am. Might be a little too progressive for him, you know. I like I love Gucci tuxedos personally. They just fit me sort of well. Uh, Dolce, sort of the classics. Hugo Boss.